Okay, um, in this video, we want to see if we can determine the prime factors of this polynomial. x cubed plus, or x to the fourth, plus 2x cubed, minus 7x squared, minus 20x, minus 12. And notice that um, we have powers of x beginning with 4 minus x to the 0, and it incrementally decreases by 1 as we go along here. So we don't have to rewrite it. All we have to do to get us started is write down their coefficients. So this is 1 plus 2 minus 7 minus 20 and minus 12. And let's see, would x minus 1 be a factor? So here we write down plus 1. And here we write down plus 1. And we start adding. This would be 3. And 3 times 1 is 3. Looks like this would be minus 4. This would be minus 4. This would be minus 24. Multiplied by 1, that's not going to be plus 12. So we know there's going to be a remainder there. We don't care what it is. We know that we can eliminate x minus 1. How about x plus 1? Let's try that. Now we write down, as we've been doing all along, the negative of this number minus 1, write it down here, and add and multiply. This is plus 1. Uh, let's see. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. This would be minus 8 times minus 1 is plus 9. That would be minus 11 times minus 1 is plus 11 close, but that's not going to add up to zero. So we can eliminate that. How about x minus 2? We write down plus 2. And here we write down plus 2. And again, add and multiply. 2 plus 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So it looks like this is going to be plus 1 times 2 is plus 2. This would be minus 18 times plus 2 is minus 36. That's not going to add up to 0. Don't waste any more time on it. Um, how about x minus 2 is not a factor. What about x plus 2? Let's try this out. Here we write minus 2. And down here we write minus 2. And add and multiply. This is 0. Times minus 2. This is 0. Add these together. We have minus 7 uh, times minus 2 is plus 14. Uh, this would be minus 6 times minus 2 is plus 12. This is 0. There's a final is a factor. So we can say that x to the 4 plus 2 x cubed minus 7x squared minus 20x minus 12 will equal x plus 2 times bring down the 1 and like we've been doing before this now will be the coefficient not of x to the 4 but of x cubed, that's of x squared, that's the coefficient of x, 
and that's the constant. So we can write that out. This times x cubed minus 7x minus 6. Okay. Um, now, here we have a cubic polynomial. Can we determine what the prime factors of this might be? So, now remember, if we're going to use synthetic division, we'll have to rewrite this um, as x cubed plus 0 x squared minus 7x minus 6. We're going to apply this our method of synthetic division. Start with your the exponent of the highest power. This would be the times the exponent of the lowest power, x to the 0. But between the highest power and the lowest power, we want to have all the all of the other powers included that are incrementally one less than the one before it. So three, two, one, zero. We're ready to go. This is a coefficient of one, zero, minus seven, minus six. We just wrote down these coefficients here. And let's see, let's try it out, starting all over again. Would x minus 1, would that be a factor of this polynomial? So we write down plus 1. And underneath the second number, we write it down again to form this column and add. Add and multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 times plus 1 is minus 6. Those do not add up to 0. So we know x minus 1 is not going to be a factor. What about x plus 1? So now we write minus 1. And again we write minus 1. Add and multiply. This is minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. This is minus 6 times minus 1 is plus 6. These add up to 0. So this is going to be a factor of this. So now we can say x cubed minus 7x minus 6 that's this. We don't have to write the zero one any longer. This will equal x plus one times, and now we bring the one down, and now this is now a coefficient of x squared. That's the coefficient on x, and that's our constant. So this is x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, now what about this? Can we factor this any further? Um, minus 2, minus 3, no. Minus 3 plus 2, what if we had it like this? x minus 3 times x plus 2. That would be minus 6. Minus 3x plus 2x. That would be minus x. So we can say that this is equal to this. And back up here, we had the one that we were interested in was e equal to x plus 2 times this polynomial, which we have expressed in terms of its prime factors. x plus 2, x plus 1, x minus 3. So 
So there we have it. Um, these are the prime factors for that polynomial. So let's just write it all out. We have x to the 4 plus 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 20x minus 12 will equal, looks like x plus 2. Squared times x plus 1 times x minus 3. And there they are. So you can see that uh, synthetic division, it might take you a while, but um, you might have to go through a lot of these steps here, but each step is pretty short. And eventually, when you have a big complicated polynomial like this, you should eventually be able to write it in terms of its prime factors. And um, I said that's going to wrap it up for this video. We have one last final video concerning um, synthetic division um, with a bit of a more uh, complicated example. So come back and join us for that, and let's see if we can solve some more problems.